You're watching Skylands, the local bird's eye view. My name is Bart, and I'll be your host and pilot in command for this mission. Folks, we have three things on the docket today. First, we have a new contest. That's right, I'm bringing the contest back. Second, I have a quick correction to an episode I did a few weeks ago. And third, we're going to continue our journey and explore the Suez watershed. So join me. We have new shirts and new chances to win one. The rules are slightly different from last time. Simply head to the link below and type in your answer along with your email. You ready? Here it goes. One more time. All right. A few episodes ago, while exploring Patterson, I mentioned black people while I should have said people of color, because Hispanics and indigenous people were also included in that list. Click up there to watch that episode. Today, we're gonna to continue our exploration of the two northmost reservoirs in the Suez watershed program. Last week, we featured Lake Tapan and Oradell Dam reservoirs. This episode, we're gonna take a look at Lake the Forest in New York and Woodcliffe Lake Reservoir in New Jersey. So sit back, relax, kick your feet up, and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, it's Bart, pilot in command. I'm on location at Lake DeForest Reservoir in Clarkstown, New York. Um, this gate was a little bit hard to find. This is gate 10. First, we're off to Clarkstown, New York, where we'll find a beautiful Lake the Forest. Clarkstown is believed to be named after the De Clark family, which settled in this area in the 1700s. Did you know that General George Washington and his troops encamped around this very spot in August 1780 during the Revolutionary War? In 1956, the Hackensack Water Company created Lake de Forest by damming the Hackensack River and named it after Robert de Forest, who managed the Hackensack Water Company from 1881 to 1926. The reservoir is the most upstream reservoir on the river. Its purpose is to provide drinking water to some of the residents of Rockland and Orange Counties, New York. Looks like I found a good place to launch the drone. Um, turns out this reservoir is really, really one of my favorites, actually. Um, 
there's a fishing area where you can go but there's also like the gate ends at one point and you can go in more of like a hiking area and so far I've seen a little bit of a trail but look at what's behind me it's pretty one thing I have noticed with the recreational program and the places you can visit is there is more garbage here than I've seen in places where aren't part of this program and are just free to visit which is kind of strange why would you pollute when you know this is your drinking water you on location at Woodcliff Lake Reservoir in uh, Woodcliff Lake. Well, I'll be frank, I was expecting a little more. Um, I saw at least two or three soccer balls in this water, amongst various other lots of plastic and garbage. Fun fact, the town changed its name to match the name of the reservoir Woodcliff Lake. The Woodcliff Lake Reservoir was built around 1903 by damming the Pascack Brook. This water eventually flows downstream Hackensack River into the Oradell Reservoir, which we covered in last week's episode. Woodcliff Lake Reservoir is our second reservoir on today's show. The town is situated in the northwestern region of Bergen County, New Jersey. It is also referred to as the Pascack Valley. Its name was given by the indigenous people, the Algonquin, who first settled here. When the Dutch settlers arrived in Manhattan and other neighboring towns, they started trading beads and other trinkets for beaver pelt fur. At the time, beaver pelt fur was used to produce fashionable men's hats. So go out, enjoy, and explore nature. There's so much to see and take in. Cliff Lake Reservoir. Um, pretty beautiful lake with lots of potential. Just like looks like the tide brought in the, the nastiest things I could find. Uh, and honestly, I don't think it's a tide. <laughs> There's a lot of garbage here. You can use a little bit of a clean up, clean up effort. Um, let's see if I can work that out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this episode, give us a thumbs up. Support us by hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, and another chance to win one of these snazzy t-shirts, Pilot in Command, signing off. <laughs>